Desalination is a really important technology that helps tackle the growing need for clean drinking water around the world. Traditional sources like rivers just aren't enough to keep up with the demands of a rising population. Audrey, to meet that demand, we need to treat water from other sources, like seawater or salty water, to make it drinkable. That's right, Charlie. As fresh water supplies get harder to come by because of things like population growth, more industries and climate change, turning seawater or salty water into drinkable water has become super important. Lots of research are going on to reduce the energy demand of desalination. You are into green tech, right? Do you know about solar-powered desalination system? Sure I do, Audrey. But there are quite a few limitations. One of the biggest issues is that a solar-powered desalination plant can't have a steady power supply without batteries. Solar panels depend a lot on the weather. On a sunny day, the plant gets more power, but on a cloudy day, it produces less. This makes it tricky to design a desalination plant that can run efficiently when the power source keeps fluctuating. Well, Charlie, researchers from Massachusetts Institute of Technology actually tackled that problem head on. They created a system that can change its desalination speed to match the sunlight, without needing batteries at all. It senses how much sunlight is available every second and adjusts its energy use accordingly. Did I get it right? No batteries. That is a huge step forward. Batteries add so much cost and maintenance to solar systems. And the hassle of installing and replacing the battery alone would make it tough for rural communities to rely on solar-powered desalination. Right, and that's exactly why this is so exciting. Not only does it save on batteries, but it also makes water production cheaper and more sustainable. So, did the researchers at MIT develop an automated system that can actually make full use of solar power without any interruptions? Yeah, that's the beauty of it. The system uses this flow commanded current control where it reads the sunlight intensity and adjusts the flow rate of water and the energy use instantly. So, let's say there's a cloud cover, they can lower the power and flow rate. Then when the sun's back it ramps up without any delay. There are two established technology of desalination. Reverse osmosis and electrodialysis. Which one are the MIT researchers using for their solar-powered desalination technology? Reverse osmosis requires strong, consistent power for pressure. So the MIT researchers chose electrodialysis instead. It's way more adaptable because it only needs an electric field to remove salt ions. So they built an electrodialysis system with solar panels, an ion exchange membrane stack and a control system that reads sunlight levels every second to adjust power use perfectly. I see the appeal. So, they're essentially using solar power to create a constant, automated system. And if it's self-adjusting, it could work in all kinds of weather. That's a big win for desalination. And it's scalable. They tested this tech for six months on wells in New Mexico, facing all kinds of weather, and still averaged 94% solar energy usage. Plus, it's producing up to 5,000 litres of fresh water, daily enough for a small community. That's incredible. And if this can be scaled up, it could be a solution for bigger communities too. Imagine what it could mean for areas with limited or unreliable electricity. The researchers from MIT are working on further developing it for larger communities, maybe even full towns. The goal is for this to be a low-cost, fully sun-driven system that doesn't rely on fossil fuels at all. And it would be a fraction of the cost of current desalination methods. It's kind of revolutionary. We're talking about renewable, affordable drinking water. And since it works without batteries, it could be the answer for so many regions where electricity or fossil fuel resources are limited. So, do you think this tech could work for seawater desalination too? I mean, the demand for fresh water is only growing, and oceans are the largest water source we've got. Good question. Actually, the MIT researchers designed this system specifically for brackish groundwater which has a lower salt concentration than seawater. That makes it a bit easier to desalinate with the energy level solar can provide. Got it. But seawater desalination is critical if we want to truly meet global water demands, right? Since brackish water is less available in many places, the ocean could be the key to a reliable supply. Exactly. 
Seawater desalination is a huge goal, but it requires a lot more energy to filter out all that salt. But who knows? Maybe with advancements in solar and other renewable energy sources, we could see a similar system handling seawater one day. Imagine solar-powered desalination plants along coastlines, turning seawater into fresh water for entire regions. That would be incredible. I think if they can push this technology forward, it could open doors for seawater to become a sustainable, large-scale water source.